I've been a massive space nerd since I was a kid. Um, I made the decision I wanted to work in space, and since then I've really been pursuing every opportunity I could. So WUSAT stands for the University of Warwick Satellite Project. Yes, we started this in 2006 with a, a European Space Agency project. Obviously, RS are the only company who've been with us right from the start, right since 2006. I mean, most of the kit we have in here, in terms of electronic uh, measurement, oscilloscopes, power supplies, things like that, is, has all come from RS. So it made a massive contribution to the six years we spent working on the moon orbiting satellites. This particular project inspired me because it's a small satellite project. I come from the big satellite world, where we have a very small part to play. With small satellites, you do everything. To be honest, what we're working on now, um, CubeSats, I think, is a big part of the future. Everything's getting smaller, and uh, CubeSats are the biggest small satellite in the industry right now. So our project is we are a small team developing a three-unit Cube satellite. So it has all the functions of a normal satellite, just packed into a really small volume. In this project we're looking for a direction finding payload that can actually look at the animal uh, tracking of uh, small migrating animals. It will have a large effect on um, the wildlife community um, in terms of tracking animals um, on a cheaper level and also using CubeSat. And this is actually without the use of a GPS signal so not many satellites can do that. And being able to tag those smaller animals will help us learn where they're going, where they're migrating to, and ultimately how things like disease propagates around the Earth. So this year we're trying to um, finalise the design of the satellite um, and create a conceptual design for the rest of the team. But hopefully we'll be developing some prototypes um, so that we can start doing some testing from next year onwards. And it would hope to be launched in about two years' time on the NanoRack system on the International Space Station. It's quite a complex project. Um, there's so many different aspects of it. So getting the team to all um, to work concurrently, so everyone knows what's going on with everything, so we can all communicate differently, um, so we all can combine our ideas. That that can be a quite difficult. Imagine putting your toaster into space, um, and imagine having your toaster meet a lot of radiation, random debris um, within space and like a lot of different things, like by the end of that cycle your toaster would be completely done. Space is so exciting, the, th the things that we've done are amazing really. So, I mean it's not every day where you get to be part of a project where you get to launch something into space, that's kind of like unheard of. It actually prepares you to going into industry in the future before you even graduate. It'll almost feel like a life achievement for me because I don't think when we started this we ever thought we'd be you know, potentially looking at a launch to the International Space Station and everything else that goes with it. So um, a, a massive quantum leap above anything we've done before. First of all, this is a university-based project so I feel really privileged to be a part of this industry at such a young age. Like, no matter how small your role is, um, you've been able to contribute towards this satellite and to see an actual working product being launched um, like into space and, and uh, I've had even a small impact on that, it's just really nice to know. So we all get invited back to witness it and um, I think everyone will look at it with immense pride. A launch is on my bucket list, let alone a launch containing a satellite that I've worked on. It's going to be one of the best experiences of my life. The Reset Project is a great opportunity to get to meet with other people from all the different disciplines and really get hands-on and develop something that could potentially change, change the world. Mm -hmm.